RVA. I'm your host, Rebecca Lynn Pierce, and I'm excited to be back again with you today with another fantastic chef. This time we have a local homegrown chef, y'all. Today we have Chef Larry Carey. How are you? Good, chef? how you doing? I'm good. Thank you so much for joining us today. Good. Today we'll be making um, honey garlic salmon and shrimp with asparagus. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm gonna start off and go ahead and get the salmon. Well, he ready. just got right into it. He ain't let me ask no other questions. Okay, ask questions <laughs> Wait, so, right we're, so we're making honey garlic. Garlic. Honey, garlic, salmon, and shrimp. Two of my favorite ingredients. Honey and garlic. Oh my gosh. So I just combine them in both. Honey. So, mm -mm -mm. Okay. so right now, you're just going to start with some fresh salmon, mm -hmm. never frozen. Never frozen. So wait, when you buy your salmon, because one of the things we try to do on the show here is really provide like really good tips on how to pick out good food. Yeah, good food. Yeah. So how do you know if you have a really good fresh salmon and where do we want to like Well, get? first of all, you don't get it frozen. Go straight to the dev and look for the like pinkest and like darkest piece you can get. The darkest piece? Pink, yeah, the darkest pinkest piece okay. you can get. Anything that's a little light, I really don't get it. I look for the deepest, like, I, I'm not going to say pink. Mm -hmm. I say orange, like a nice orange, orange color. Okay. Yeah. And then how do you like price it? Like, I know salmon can be very expensive. Yeah, um, that's... I'm not gonna say that. Um, right now, it's not. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty. It's like I say, about seven, eight dollars a pound, okay. and a pound of salmon can feed four people. So Ooh. yeah. So how much are we? How much do we have here today? It's about a quarter pound, like three quarters of a pound. Okay, yeah. great. So do you with your salmon? Do you cook it with the the skin on? Yeah, I cook it with the skin on. I cook okay. it with Sometimes people don't like the skin, but I right. like I like the skin myself. It's nice and crunchy, Ooh. like a nice little treat after you finish eating. Yes. Okay. So tell us how you prepare your favorite salmon. Okay, right now I'm just going to start off with the salmon and I will wash it, pat it, and dry. Okay. So I'm just going to start off with simple, you know, simple, just salt. Wait, do we have to do that? Like, I mean, you can season it, but I always make the mistake of like rinsing off my salmon. And then putting it in the pan. Yes. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> stuff stops popping and stuff, and then yeah. it might stick to the pan. Oh, stuff. so that's the secret. Yeah, oh, you make sure oh, you pat oh, it dry. Okay, okay, well, I wasn't doing that. Pat it yeah, dry. Make sure, uh, and then when you season it, I always like to season it high, that way it'll spread evenly. As opposed to oh. season it low, you're going to get. Oh, I did another but, yeah. mistake. So and season high and spread it nice and even. Just is salt. that regular salt? Or yeah, just uh, Mediterranean, Mediterranean sea salt. Can you use regular salt? Because, oh God, I'm terrible. I, I mean, you can use salt. regular salt, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just cracked pepper right here. Cracked pepper. What yeah. about uh, cracked peppercorn? No? Yeah, that's what this is, cracked that's, peppercorn. That's peppercorn, yeah. okay. That's a um, Mediterranean medley. Well, you trying to go to the Mediterranean? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like pretty. Okay. But right now we're going to start off, oh, make sure your pan is nice and hot, you don't ever want to start off with a cold pan. Oh, so we're doing this on top of the stove. Yeah, on top of the stove, yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, on top so I have another amateur question, because y'all know I'll be tearing up the kitchen. You don't season the other side, the skin side, you just do that side? Yeah, I just season um, the top, I don't season the skin side, that's just me. I mean, no. if you want to season the bottom, you can season the bottom. <laughs> this is not what you do it though. Okay, so we're going to use some olive oil. Olive oil, yeah. So is this called pan seared? Yeah, pan seared. Okay, so, yeah. pan seared, okay. I'm terrible with that. When you when you're doing pan seared, how should the pan be really hot or? I say medium hot heat. You don't want it too hot because then you put the salmon in there and you stop so popping and the flame up. So that's a medium hot heat to be safe. And how much olive oil? Like a couple of tablespoons. Do you you're not a measuring chef either, are you? No. We have some non-measuring <laughs> chefs. If everybody measures, everybody's food tastes the same. Okay, well that is true. That's a good point. That's a good point. So tell me how did so when we when we put it in the pan and we make sure the pan is warm, how long does each do you flip it over? How long does it Well I cook my salmon, I say 90% size skin down and I flip it over and kiss it on the other side. Kiss then, it on the other side. Yeah. Kiss it on the other side. <laughs> okay. So let's see, let's let's see if we get some pop and sizzle. I like to hear the sound of well, we popping in my pan. <laughs> we'll get it. Yeah, it'll, it'll get, work. Yeah. So how long do we cook it for? Oh, uh, five minutes. Uh, five minutes, I say, on the bottom. Uh -huh. And then when you actually flip it and kiss it for like two minutes on the top. So, so you don't cook it? Okay, you know, I'm, again, I'm terrible with amateurs. So that's really like only like seven, eight minutes. Yeah, it shouldn't take long. You don't want to cook the salmon in depth. Ooh. You know, it's, it's, sometimes you cook it too much to take away all the moisture and stuff. You want to keep all the moisture. Okay. And that's the good thing about searing. Well, if it was mm -hmm. hot, once you sear it, it locked the flavor in it. Um, it's like the flavor and juices in it. So. This I, this is probably why I don't cook salmon off. Well, this pan was supposed to be hot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it, it, it'll do that. Yeah. So tell us, how did you get into cooking? So how I found Chef Larry, everybody. Do, do I call you Chef Larry? You can call me Chef Larry, Chef Carrier. So 
So how I found Chef Larry was on social media, of course, and I, I just saw the pictures of your fantastic food. Thank you, I appreciate it. And I was like, we gotta have him on the show. And now that I know you're you know, born and raised here yeah, in Richmond, I really gotta, you're welcome, I really gotta chat with you about it. So how did you get into cooking? Uh, really, when I was um, a young boy, I always go spend the summertime in my grandmother's yes, house. Okay. So all the kids would go outside and play around, i say about 4 or 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And around 4 or 5 o'clock, that's when my grandma preparing dinner. So me, I like to eat. I want to sit there and watch her getting it uh, ready. Right. So I'm sitting there watching her. As I'm watching her, I'm picking up, you know, learning little stuff. Back then, I didn't know what I was looking at, right. but like now, I know what she was doing. Like she always, every time she cooked, I always tell her, I always see her to take this powder and pour it in the cup and mix it up and pour it in the pan. But once I um, got older, I just found out she was making gravy. Something that something, yeah, <laughs> something that <laughs> simple. I thought back and be like, oh my god, I was making gravy when we do that. So okay. I always go back and think, and I love those times because food captures memories. Yes, you know what does. I mean? So yeah. if you eat something, that'll take you back to the exact moment right. that you. Was, like say, um, like I love my grandma, but so if I eat something to remind me of my grandma, it's gonna right. put me in that place mm -hmm. in that time. So food is like a time capsule. Almost. It is absolutely. So you decided at what age did you say, you know what, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a cook. I'm gonna be a chef. Um, I really didn't decide. I say cooking really followed me all my life because, like I said, I used to watch my grandmother um, cook, and then my mom was a single mom, so I had to stay at home and cook for my um, sister and stuff. Okay. And then after I cooked for my sister. That's when I took a down period and worked at the ABC Warehouse. And when I was working at ABC okay. Warehouse, I'd come in and bring my lunch, and people would be like, oh my God, what are you bringing? What are you bringing? I would be sitting next to you. Yeah, and they was like, then they was like, <laughs> you don't need to be working, you should go out and cook. So wow. after people kept telling me that, so that's what I ended up doing. And after I did it, here I am now. So you're self taught? Self taught, yeah. I mean, you can't really say self taught because well, you, yeah. you pick it up from different places. Different places. Different, um, like, say, a like cooking show mm -hmm. or. Maybe like a restaurant, you might pick this up, the idea up here, or maybe a cookbook, you might pick it up from mm -hmm. there too. Have you ever thought about doing a cookbook? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Mm -hmm. I want to do one, yeah. It, tell, tell them how they can find you on Facebook, because y'all always oh, you can, see his food. Yeah, you can find me on Facebook at Larry Carey or at Chef Larry, or my Instagram is Chef Larry 67. Okay, so right now you're a, a chef at what restaurant are we at? Um, down in Billiards. It's a pool room on Midlothian Turnpike, 13184 Midlothian Turnpike. I've heard that food is good. So like, yeah, it's good. We went RV at Burger Week um, oh, really? three years in a row. RVA Burger Week. So yeah. like, and then when they crank it back up, I'm gonna win it again. <laughs> <laughs> you do it again. Okay, so what kind of meat do you use in the in the burger? What I just use the um, IVP eighty twenty meat because I like the fat content. The, we don't know what that means. Break that down into. I just use burger. ground beef. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't the ground beef for the nice fat. I don't add nothing to it. Okay. To me, if I add like onions, peppers, Worcestershire sauce, right. you're not making burger. You're making meatloaf to me. Oh 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 oh, that's so, true. So only thing I put on my burger is salt and pepper. A nice flat top grill cereal. You can add some toppings on it, uh -huh. but you don't want to add too much of toppings to take away from the burger. Oh my goodness! So RJ burger with oh my gosh, how's our fish coming along? How's that? Uh, we started to get a little low. We started to get a little low. Yeah. Okay, so when you were uh, so the, your shrimp, I know we're not getting to that yet. Nah, yeah, like, we're gonna let's just um, start getting nice and simple. But we can start working on this asparagus if you want. Yeah. Okay, great. Because I'm gonna talk about the shrimp because I like some shrimp and the asparagus. So look, asparagus. It's one of my favorite vegetables next to Brussels sprouts, which I know a lot of people don't like Brussels sprouts. And I, I, I have to admit, I'm terrible at cooking both. Yeah, but <laughs> asparagus is simple. Some people like overthink it. I do. But that's all I do right here, cut off the tips. So that's how far I can go. Yeah, that's what I go. Mm. And some people like to clean it off, you know, take it off. But we don't need it to do all that. Okay, I did another mistake then. You don't rinse that off before you cook it? Well, I already rinsed it off. And oh, you already yeah, did it? Yeah, I did that last <laughs> and night. Dried I it, and you dry it too? Well, no, I did it last night. I patted it dry and everything and rinsed it off and okay. patted it dry. I'm supposed to pat it dry before I put it in my pan? Is that what you're telling me? I mean, it depends on what, yeah, that's what I would have pat. I pat everything dry. Because okay. if you leave water, the water is... See, that's where I'm making my mistakes. Yeah, you don't want no water. <laughs> so I um, get a nice sheet pan. Okay. Small sheet pan, lay them out nice and flat. And I get you know, a little extra virgin olive oil. Again, we're not measuring, we're just pouring them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pouring olive oil. Okay, so another cardinal sin that I, I'm still making is that I use cooking mm, spray. I don't use the cooking spray. <laughs> <laughs> Error, so you don't need to use the cooking spray. No, don't use cooking spray. Yeah. Okay. But if that's what you're comfortable with, I say go right I know, ahead. I don't know no better. No, <laughs> but you can use olive oil to do the same thing. It's much better for you. Okay, we're going to use olive oil. Yeah. You just drizzle a little bit. You just, just drizzle a little bit. That's and I'm just going to hit it with a little crack, like you said, cracked peppercorns again. Okay, cracked peppercorns again. And then a little salt. And, ooh. 
it's not even cooked yet, but it's still looking uh -huh. like it's cooked. And then we're gonna get a nice little piece of butter. This 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 is my downfall. I love butter. Oh my goodness. So and nice you're thing. using one of the top of the line butter. That ain't no Yeah, I'm using butter. I don't that ain't use no butter. butter. <laughs> I don't use my butter is yellow. It's not Yes. It don't have a white tint or nothing to it. So you put that's like you can put another one on there too. Oh my lord, so that's like two tablespoons yeah. of butter. Yeah, I'm gonna say four. Four tablespoons of butter. Yeah. And you just and lay I, it right on top. Yeah, I just lay it right on top because it's gonna melt. And I'm just gonna take some lemon. Okay, there's another thing I'm gonna use lemon. Wedges. Yeah, cut a couple of little slices. Y'all see that now? And you can um, also, <laughs> you can do this the same way and just grill it like that too. Oh, okay. Yeah, because yeah, so a lot of people like to grill. I just throw uh, a couple of. Um, Oh, wow. This is more for like visual, but the actual, you know, secret um, flavors in the juice. So I'm gonna mm. squeeze a little lemon juice on there. Y'all gonna be jealous of me when this is over. <laughs> there we go. That looks good already. Okay. I'm gonna pop that in the oven. Okay, how, what temperature and how? Uh, I put it on 450, about five, six minutes. Okay, that's another thing I've been doing wrong. I've been doing 350. 350, that's everybody's <laughs> favorite temperature. Everybody loves 350. I didn't know, I didn't know. Okay, so 450 for how many minutes? Five or six minutes. See, I've been doing you gotta good. watch it though. It depends on how much asparagus you have. Because oh. yeah, the, um, the amount you know changes the time. So if you got a lot, that six minutes might turn to eight minutes. Oh, see now, right there. See, because I've been cooking it at three fifty for about fifteen minutes, and that's clearly wrong. <laughs> that's clearly not a good good amount of time. So you don't look at the timer, do you? Because you know I'm terrible. I don't look at the time. I go by oh, smell. Ooh, I like smell. Yeah, sometimes, but sometimes smell can be a bad thing because once you start <laughs> smelling that burnt smell, you know you messed up. You overdid it, right? Yeah. How's our fish looking, Chef? Oh, uh, we starting to get a little sound from it. It's starting to get, um, sizzle on it's up. It's starting to sizzle on us. Oh my yeah. goodness. So, when you're cooking, are you you're cooking? I love how you said like cooking is a memory for you. So like when you're in the kitchen preparing a dish for. You know, some a customer that's ordered it. Is that like something that's in the back of your mind? Like you want to be able to help give them a memory as well? Yeah, that's why I don't want. To, that's why I want people to ask me. What is your favorite thing to cook? I don't have a favorite thing to cook. Right. Because if I had a favorite thing to cook, I'm putting all my best into that one thing and I'm putting my best into everything. That's a good point. Oh my gosh. So tell me, how did you, you know, your page says you're a personal chef too. How did yeah. you, how did you get into that? Because I've been cooking in restaurants for mm -hmm. so long that, um, I'm not going to say I get tired of cooking, but you get tired of seeing the same, seeing, seeing, right. I got the scenery of everything, you know, mm -hmm. once you cook to other people's houses, it's different every time you go there. Like I get to cook in a different kitchen, different group of right. people, a different part of town. And do you, when you're cooking for your individual um, clients, do they bring you in to cook what you want to cook? Or they tell you like, this is what I'm interested in? It all depends, right? it all depends on the clientele. Sometimes they want me to cook something that I like to cook or they want me to cook something that they don't know how to cook, but they want, you know, a home cooked meal. I'm gonna need you to come and cook everything for me. I got you, I got you. <laughs> No, 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 no. Uh, right okay. now we're going to go take a check on this salmon because we're working on that. See, and that's another thing I'm using. I'm using a uh, spatula. Well, you got to get the tongs. <laughs> the tongs. Yeah, the tongs. See, that's, so what are we looking for the bottom to look like? Um, once okay. the bottom, it'll get nice and crispy. Nice see, yeah, crispy. it don't even have no, yeah, it's getting there. You want a nice brown tint, so almost like bronze color to it. Okay. But you don't want black. Stay away from the black color because that's burnt. Right? I don't want black. That's not going to taste good. I already can tell okay. that. Okay. Right now, I'm going to start going ahead and prepping for the shrimp. I'm going to go okay. ahead and dice up some um, cloves of garlic. Ooh, how many cloves of garlic? Too many. Yeah, too many. <laughs> don't start thinking too many garlic. It's a lot. It's a lot. So you can do the garlic. Or you can do one or two cloves, but I'm going to do, I may not use all this. I'm going to okay. probably use four cloves of garlic. Oh, I say. Yeah. So this meal right here, how many people? It looks like three, right? Three yeah, three portions. Serve that. Yeah, it's a nice. It's a nice. I'm not gonna say healthy, but it's a nice light meal. Say like if you want to eat and then go out. That's a nice mm -hmm. meal. You won't be sitting there on the couch, can't move, <laughs> ready to pass to sleep. <laughs> That's very true. And so, so this is a dish that you created, or just something? Um, I saw honey garlic around a lot. And I just figured it won't, I give it a try, put my own spin on it. Like I said, honey and garlic was my two favorite ingredients, so I just merged them and I threw it on everything. I even do honey and garlic chicken. Yeah. Why didn't you do that today? <laughs> honey garlic chicken. Wait, is that baked chicken or fried chicken? Oh, I can do a fried, bake or whatever. <laughs> Look, I'm about to mess up my um, eighth apron trying to get to the fried chicken already. I like that. So we're just dicing that. Yeah, just mince and mince and mince and dice is big. Yeah, you want as small as possible. That's a serious knife, though, Chef. I don't know if I can use that to cut up. You can use it. <laughs> and so this is fresh mint. Fresh mint garlic. Oh, wow. 
But is that mint? What is, what is that? This is parsley. parsley. This is um, just regular old curly parsley. This is some people like to use Italian parsley, but I like curly parsley. It just looks better in the dish. Dish is the um, Italian parsley. It's like a flat leaf. The curly parsley is you know more like I say the Italian parsley is for like cooking something, mm -hmm. and the curly parsley is for like finishing off for like color and stuff. Like I, that. I didn't know the difference. Yeah, I just buy parsley. <laughs> Well, that fish is coming. Yeah, we really need really nice. Yeah. Is that moving around? Don't get, don't get popped. I'm used to it. That's <laughs> so, why I got the tattoos to cover my burn. <laughs> to cover up the burn. Yeah. So, like, what's your advice then for like maybe a young, a young man who might be watching the show uh, that wants to be in the cooking? Because I've, I've asked a couple of chefs. I have a 19 year old son, and you know he's a little hesitant about getting in the kitchen. Right. Yeah. So like, what's your advice for maybe a young man who's thinking about what do I do with my life and the one thing I do like to do is cook? I say if you're going to cook, make sure you stick with it. It might be some times that be like, somebody might say, I'm not going to say your food's nasty, you may dislike your food, mm -hmm. or maybe some times that you can't find a job. I'm just going to say stick with it. Right. Because once you stick with something, you're going to win at the end. It may be hard, but you're going to win. Good one, I like that. And uh, when cooking, you take sacrifice. Because like in my early, in my late, I say, my late teens, early twenties, everybody's out having fun. Right. You know, partying, going to prom, going to clubs and stuff. My Friday, Saturday night, I'm in the kitchen <laughs> cooking. <laughs> so you do gotta, yeah, so you gotta sacrifice if you want to cook. It's a lot of time. Right. A lot. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we got the salmon cooking up nice and good. That's well, that looks good. good. So I see it starting to turn pink on the side. Yeah, we are almost there. I'm gonna have to cook for another couple minutes. But right now, we can go ahead and start on the shrimp. Oh, yes. Okay, so what kind of shrimp are we using? Um, Does it these matter? These, these large shrimp, I like to use large, nice size shrimp. I um, peeled, 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 and deveined, and took the tail off, and they already cleaned it. So you did all that, just so you, but you can buy shrimp already. Already peeled and deveined, yeah, you can already buy them if you don't want to do that. Right, well, because I, I always buy them with the shell on because it's cheaper. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, because you're really just paying for the work that you already know. Oh, well, I would like to try that on my own. So right now, we can start off with a little. Olive oil. Tomorrow, and that looks about, looks about two tablespoons, Yeah, we're going to say two tablespoons. <laughs> you can be my measurement, yeah. Oh, and butter too? Yeah, we're going to put it, we got to put the butter in there. Oh my goodness, Lord, I'm going to have so much fun eating these. Okay, I, again, OCD, I had to put the cut in the sink because I can't stand it to get out. Okay. <laughs> oh, another couple tablespoons of butter. That looks like it's in about four. No, two? Two, yeah, two. Two. Right. Look around now, pan's a little hot. We don't want it too hot. Right? No, you know, I'm going to take it off for a little bit. Right, the butter in there. So how many pounds of shrimp is that problem? This is about a pound right here. A pound of shrimp? Yeah. And I'm going to put the garlic on in there. Oh, look at that. Y'all see that like smoke it. coming? Y'all should smell the kitchen. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. I'm going to add a little white wine. Oh, oh, now he done brought in something I didn't know about some wine. Why white, white wine? Yeah, white wine. Is Come that cooking wine or just regular? It's a little Pinot Grigio right here. Pinot Grigio. Look at that. And that's what's going to make it a sauce. Mm. And we can go ahead and add our shrimp. That looks beautiful, doesn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Oh my gosh. And how long do we cook the shrimp for? Shrimp not going to cook long. It's like two or three minutes for the shrimp. Do we ever turn it over? Because I know that's... Yeah, we turn them over and flip them. Well, since it's this amount, I say stir them up. Or, yeah, yeah. Oh, you just pour the honey right on top of it? Yeah, that's what I just Shut your mouth. Oh, goodness. Put the honey. Oh, look at that. Mm. Couple of tablespoons of that's, the ingredients. That's about two and a half. Yep. <laughs> so you really just like, like a lot of people have said, you just really season and use ingredients to taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to overpower the food. That's right. the one thing you don't want to do. You want to eat, um, you don't want to eat only garlic and um, <laughs> garlic and honey and not right. taste no salmon. That's so right now I'm gonna stir these up a little. Look at that, that's beautiful. So how that sauce getting nice and yeah. thick, turn it up. And the shrimp is turning yeah. already. Now we can go ahead and put the seeds and shit, bronze color yes. up. Yes, that's beautiful. So now we're gonna finish it up on this side. Okay, another horrible thing that I do is I always think that I gotta turn the shrimp, I mean the uh, salmon on its side. Oh, uh, well you do depends on how thick it is. Really? Depends okay. on how thick it is, because you want it to the side. Yeah, but you want it. Yeah, so you got, yeah, you do it right. This, these pieces are not too big. That's what the, um, the belly is popping the head out, so. Mm -hmm. I don't have to put these on the side. Okay, because yeah. I see they're already, they're already nice on the side. Yeah, we can go ahead and turn this down. Maybe you can, we can just turn this off and let the residual heat in the pan. Ooh. But sometimes you can do that. If you leave the item in the pan and okay. turn the stove off, it'll, the heat will still allow it. Cook it, yeah. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm just, just um, chopping up some curly parsley. How much? Um, really, I'd say about two tablespoons. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead and dice that on up. I got it. That's really for color, make it look nice. Mm -hmm. But it adds flavor too. Yeah, a little bit of flavor. I, have okay. flavor. I love parsley. I need chicken food. You got mm. That looks so good. The smells in the kitchen. That's one thing I love about the kitchen. Um, is it, when cooking is done right, it smells good. Yeah, now we got this. Cooking on up, you see that nice sauce. Yeah. Nice the uh, shrimp got a nice color to it. With the pie, you see the piece of the garlic in there. We're going to have that there for a couple of minutes. Go ahead and check this out again. Ooh, yeah, that's looking nice. That's good, yeah, we can go ahead and leave that alone. Mm. So do what you want to put out some nasty folks. I'm well, over here, but I'm going to put it on. We're going straight to the plate. Oh, we're going yeah. straight to the plate. Oh, well, shut my mouth. We're going straight to the plate. Straight to the plate. So, Chef, do you, you, do you do any cooking at home? Uh-uh. Do you do any cooking at home? Uh-uh. I mean, not around... Um, yeah, no. Yeah. I don't do hardly no cooking at home, but when I cook, I cook, I put it like that. Okay. So, <laughs> I say I cook once a month, and when I cook, mm -hmm. I cook a nice, good meal, but my girlfriend does most of the cooking. Right, that's because you so cook for everybody. everybody, and I don't yeah. feel like coming home and cook for myself. Oh my and even God. if I do cook for myself, it feels too much like work. So, I just want to come home a little bit. <laughs> I understand it. Do you ever, um, you want to go overseas to learn and pick up some more tricks? Yeah, that would be, yeah. I would love to do that. I would love to go over France and just cook in one of their kitchens for a right. while. Mm -hmm. That would be so nice. That would be France, awesome. Japan. Japan's one of my places too. I okay. love Japan. So what's a dish that you would probably like to master from there? Japan, mm -hmm. sushi. Oh. I want to learn how to roll there sushi. Yeah. Well, I would be more than happy to be your um, taste tester. No, that's fine. <laughs> okay. so, now let's check and make sure yeah. I'm checking on my asparagus. Oh, yeah, they done. Look at that. Ooh, you guys should smell the cacophony of smells in the kitchen right now. So that only, again, that was what, eight minutes? And so how do you know when asparagus is like... Oh, um, I used to tell by the tips. When the tips start to get a little brown, they're oh, okay. done. Oh, okay. See, right there. Yeah, and you don't want to cook it... Well, I was about to say you don't want to cook it too long. Because some people like the asparagus with a little crisp to it. I and see. then some people like the asparagus Real soft. Yeah. Right, okay. Love it. Okay. So, are shrimp ready? Yeah, the shrimp ready, yeah. Look, I'm hungry already. Yeah, and so, here, let's get a plate. And you can go ahead and make my plate. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna make this. So this only took like how many minutes to prepare? I say this is a ten minute meal. Ten minute yeah. meal, man. Yeah, awesome. but we don't have a slot. So maybe if you want like some mashed potatoes or rice, they will add on like an additional fifteen minutes. This is a nice, oh, quick, no. elegant, yeah, nice meal. Yeah, I like this. You got you got a meat and a, and a beautiful vegetable. That's all you really need. Oh my gosh! And so, what was like the total cost of this meal? Probably, do you think? The total cost, um, everything right here um, for three. The total cost of this is about forty five dollars. Oh, wow. Because that's what all the ingredients with, like the wine, right. salt, and stuff. Right, right. Always have your yeah. stuff. So if you were to order this meal in a restaurant, how much would it probably be per person? You at least pay twenty five to thirty dollars per person for this. Wow, I like forty five total. <laughs> now we're gonna get take this nice. That, look at that old oh, lay on top. I would lay it on the side. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And we're gonna take a couple of these shrimp. Put them nice on top. We got away from it. So you always want to plate in the center of your plate. Didn't know that either. Plate in the center. Is that just because of the look? You want it to look a certain? Yeah, you want it to pop. But you, you don't want everything in the corners. You know, you um. Oh, I'm here. Look at, <laughs> you know, I look at the plate as a canvas, and you know, every That's artist true. always start in the middle of the canvas. This uh, is true. Okay. So, so right it's now, looking at like art. I like it. Hit a little bit of the sauce on top. Ooh, ooh. A little bit. Ooh, that's good. That's good. And this, ladies and gentlemen is why I love what I do. This is why I love it. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. And we're gonna put that up here because I want the people, the people at home to see this 10 minute dish that I'm yeah. about to eat. Oh yeah. As soon as I can find me a fork. <laughs> <laughs> you grab some forks back here. Do you want to plate the other one? Yeah, I can plate the other one, yeah. Well, go ahead and grab you a plate. You got a good shot of that, y'all see that? Y'all see that? Look, I can see smoke coming off of this. Right. All right, sure. Let gonna, me know what you think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. Do I, do I need a um? Well, some people do, some people don't. Like, need a knife to cut the. Um, uh, some people, yeah, like you said, it's your preference. You know, because everything is pretty tender. Oh, that just came right off of there. Oh my goodness. Y'all, pardon me while I'm in food heaven. And and this, we can eat the skin on there. Yeah, you can, you can, you can eat that. Yeah. Skin okay. is always. 
That's why I cook it um, skin side down, so that you can 90% it. so you can eat it and it won't be too rubbery. Okay. I put all my food together, sorry y'all. I put everything together. I don't need separate, right? I dropped my spare. <clears throat> Alright, so we got the chicken and the rice. That, that is good. The shrimp, I don't know why I always overcook the shrimp. You overcook them? I, I am overcooking my shrimp because this is light. Crispy. Yeah. Crunchy. Yeah, that's what we And delicious. That's the main part. <laughs> okay. Y'all, I want to thank my guest, Chef Larry Carroll. Oh, thank you for having me. Oh, you're absolutely welcome. You got to come back. Cause oh, I'll be back. Yeah. Now that you done said honey, salmon, I'm going to need to try the honey chicken. We can, we can do something else. We can do something else, then come back to the Have you on here three times. We can skip, we can um, do something else, then come do the honey okay. garlic chicken. And I'll let you do that. You okay. do all this. I'll let you do it. I, I'll learn to You'll do it. You'll be my hand. Please, I would okay. love to learn how to do it. Do it better. Because right now, nobody in the house wants to eat my asparagus. Oh, no, they're going to eat it after I teach you. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll bring a dessert next time. Okay, yeah, bring it. I love to do dessert. dessert. Uh -uh. But I like to eat dessert. But he likes to eat dessert. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much, y'all. Tune in next time to Beyond the Play RVA. We'll have another fantastic chef. This is Richmond, Virginia's own, again, Chef Larry Carey. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ace Apron, for my lovely fancy apron yeah, I'm wearing like today. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it looks nice. You should order one. Yeah, I yeah. am. Okay, you heard that. All right, guys, thank you so much. We'll see you guys later. I'm going to finish. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. Oh, my goodness. Y'all got to taste this.